Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Garima who got a stupendous rank of 116 in the INICT examination and we have got multiple important things to learn from Garima in this interview. So first of all, Garima, many congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. So Garima, can you tell us a bit about yourself, your college and which attempt was this for you? So um, I am from Nalanda Medical College and uh, this was my second attempt for INICT. Uh, mm -hmm. I have given my May attempt and then this was the second attempt and uh, I have given NEET also this year. So uh, I just finished my internship during uh, the month of August uh, mm -hmm. and I uh, just gave the exam this time in November. Right. So Garima, we were having a discussion before we started the interview. Uh, you used the term peripheral medical college and a college which is not really AIMS or one of the big Delhi colleges. So you, you told me that... Uh, uh, that thought sometimes lingers on in our head that uh, we are not in maybe one of the top 10 medical colleges and probably we may not be able to crack INICT. Uh, you said you also had that thought for some time, yeah. right? Yes, and sir. then you you attended one of one of our BTR sessions offline yeah. and you listened to Zainab ma'am and that thought changed. So, so yeah. can you tell us both about the thought and, and what changed? Uh, sir, uh, basic uh, mindset of students just it can be taken as an excuse of not doing hard work but it kind of just uh, stays in your mind that uh, you are not from a metropolitan city uh, college or the colleges which are of top like cream colleges mm -hmm. and you won't be able to do good in your exams uh, that you always feel mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it does not matter it really does not matter which college do you belong what stage of preparation you are at mm -hmm. uh, whatever kind of internship that you are having it does not matter uh, mm -hmm. when I, this actually stayed with me, uh, until the 80% of my internship was done, but mm -hmm. then I, uh, attended that, uh, offline session of, um, BTR uh, during, mm -hmm. uh, April and it completely changed me because there is nothing like, uh, the term prodigy ma'am mm -hmm. just broke this term for me. Like Zana ma'am, uh, has shown me that, uh, you have to work hard to be mm -hmm. at her position or anywhere uh, to stand at a place where she is right now. Mm -hmm. So I was like, um, yeah, I, I need to throw this out of my head to move forward. Very so nice. it does not matter. So for everybody listening to this interview, uh, Zainab uh, tells this uh, to all the students uh, and, and she's so nice to share this with everyone that, uh, you know, let's not allow that thought to stick to our head that uh, those who could enter MBBS, uh, could enter in AIMS or maybe MAMS or one of the big colleges in MBBS, only they can do uh, good in the PG entrance examination, irrespective of your college, irrespective of yeah. where you, you, whether it's a government college, a private college, whether you're FMG Indian graduate, if you start working hard, things will start to change for you. Yeah. All right. So this is the first thing that I wanted everybody to listen from you, Garima. Uh, second thing, uh, when we were discussing about the course materials, you told me that you had a nice mix of everything, the main notes, the revision notes, the BTR notes. So, so uh, what are your thoughts on that? How, how can a student organize everything and still ensure that everything is completed in due course of time? Yeah. So uh, you need to focus on the sets of revision, not on uh, extending a subject for a longer time, because you are going to forget uh, whatever you have read, unless and until you don't revise it. So try to complete the cycle of revisions, uh, rather than focusing on that you are forgetting a, a specific table of that surgery notes. Very and nice. uh, mm -hmm. uh, do... Um, try to do more and more number of revisions uh, just before the examination i could do around like uh, two sets of revision which were complete and one uh, one set of revision which was not partial. that complete mm -hmm. yeah partial revision uh, mm -hmm. which was more uh, like helpful but uh, yeah try to do more number of revisions because i uh, in even in on those last days i had to revise the cp score and mm -hmm. uh, whatever positive factors of schizophrenia uh, everyone will forget this not you only yeah so, yeah so so students who keep on you know getting very uh, uh, disheartened that I'm forgetting. It happens yeah. to everyone. Every single person, whether rank one one six, whether rank one, or whether rank one lakh. Mm -hmm. And and Garima, so just before the examination, the last month you had some issues at home that kind of uh, created issues with your studies. So so can you can you share what really happened and how did you manage it? Yeah. So just uh, like twenty five days before the examination, I had like made a specific timetable for myself, and I was mm -hmm. uh, trying to uh, pace up myself and was. Uh, trying to follow that but mm. some family emergency came in my house and I could not study for like three days and I had to like go in and out of hospital due to some reason and uh, medical reasons that, medical reason yes sir 
and uh, because of that uh, i i again wasted like two more days because of that anxiety that i did not study three days and i have sacrificed three subjects and mm-hmm. uh, just during that time uh, your video came up on cerebellum app uh, i mean academy youtube channel and i saw you saying that you have to take your preparation to the last day uh, you don't have to lose hope just because uh, something happened when mm-hmm. you said that i just posted it that posted that thing on my wall and i was like ab kuch nahi and now i have to study and i will just do it just give my best and uh, uh, there was also one thing that i used to get stuck with my uh, rank whatever mm. rank i am getting at gts mm. so uh, this is what i would like to say that th- it does not matter whatever rank you are getting just forget it because mm. uh, in the exam you will definitely gain like four or five questions because you are tend to think more in your exams mm. uh, so that should not be the case with you so uh, try to do as much as uh, you can and you should promise yourself that uh, you are going to be the most uh, prepared person on that examination hall nothing mm-hmm. else matters whatever you have gotten up till now so mm-hmm. uh, this is what i would like to say wonderful so irrespective of from where you did your mbbs anybody can enter the beautiful Definitely. campus of aims delhi or other aims and uh, it has to be a mix of all the resources some yes, some sir. long one some short one and yeah. then my my favorite line take the preparation to the last day if yes, you can sir. and uh, <laughs> gt score gts are important but sometimes we end up making the mistake of uh, taking gts to evaluate ourselves yes, but sir. that yes, should sir. not be the case uh, yes, for, for a large number of toppers like you rankers like you their final rank is the best rank that they ever got they never got yes, that good rank even in any gts yes, so sir. don't don't lose hope if you're not doing so great in gts any any last uh, message for your juniors uh, for students who are struggling as you were like a couple of months back uh the most important thing that i would like to say is that uh, don't define yourself whatever mm. is happening in your life just don't define yourself because uh, it's the the most easiest thing that you can do in your life is to lose control uh, mm. you will feel like i'm not doing anything i should just leave it at any mm. stage of preparation it just happens like we become clueless that uh, we should just leave it or what am, what am i even doing like uh, i'm being an unemployed person reading at my parents house i should have been working right now everything that you are uh, thinking right now is just a setback that your brain wants you to accept and just stop working uh, just forget about anything that's coming in your brain and just move on with your life Uh, everything yeah. is going to be fine as yeah. apoor sir used to say in those btr sessions that uh, cricket ke match tab bhi aayenge jab exam ho jayega abhi pad lo <laughs> so it's very important your friends will stay your uh, everything that's happening around you will come back eventually uh, you just have to do your work right now just focus on yourself wonderful thank you garima thanks a lot for having this interview with us and uh, so you're planning sir. to take some some medical branch medicine pet something of that sort Uh, yes sir i'm thinking of taking a non procedural branch like medicine or pediatrics best wishes for your future beta all the best thank you so much sir thank you so much sir i'm honored to be sitting here with you thank you dear